Which you guys got another video here for you on how to make entering safe mode easier on Windows 10. Now, sometimes people need to get into safe mode and uh, using this method is probably one of the easiest tried and trusted methods you can use for any sort of version of Windows really, but we're on Windows 10 here. Everyone should be using Windows 10 nowadays because obviously uh, Windows 7 and the other operating systems are coming to an end. So go down to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator and open up the command prompt box. Once we've got this open, say yes to the user account control and then we're inside uh, the command prompt window here. Now what we need to do here is add in our commands, which is gonna add in our easy options for entering safe mode. So type in BCD edit, and this will show you uh, your Windows boot manager here. And what we're looking at is the identifier here, which is says current. So it's got that little uh, brackets here, or we call them braces with current in it. And uh, that's the one we need to uh, be mindful of. Now we need to type in the command. Command's there on the screen for you and I'll show you how to type this out. I'll do it nice and slow so you can follow along. But basically all you need to do here is do bcd edit space forward slash copy then space and then you want to do those brackets or uh, braces as I call them and uh, current and then close brace and then space and then forward slash D and then you can do the quotation and then the name you want to call it. So I'm just going to say Windows safe mode. You can call it Windows 10 safe mode, wherever you want here. This is just a tutorial. So type in what you want to call it and then you can put the quotation mark in there as well and push enter and you should see that the entry was successfully copied. Okay. So once we've done that, what we need to do now is I'll show you where it's been added. Now you can actually add it in in the command prompt, but I'll show you an easier way for beginners to do it. Just go down to the search box here and type in msconfig. This is probably going to be the easier way to deal with uh, doing this uh, for people that are just starting out. So once you're inside here, go to the boot tab and you should see the entry we just added in here. And here we have some options available. So what you need to do is apply safe boot on that option for safe mode that we just entered here and leave it as minimal for this one. We're going to add some other ones in a second and then make all boot settings permanent. You can change the time it's on the screen for if you wish. I'm leaving it at 30 seconds. Click apply and OK and we'll restart the system and you should see now that we've entered in our safe mode option on the boot up screen. Now this is very useful for people that um, just want to get into safe mode very quick and easy on the boot up option here, especially if they have problems with their computers. So we're just gonna quickly reboot here. And this should give us the option on the splash screen here. There we go, choose an operating system. You should see here Windows 10 and Windows safe mode. Now if you click on Windows safe mode, it will take you straight into Windows safe mode. Now I find this method super easy to follow and very easy to get into safe mode without tapping on keys and doing all that sort of stuff. So it's super easy for people who want to get into safe mode without any sort of jumping through a ton of different hoops to get into there. You can see we're in safe mode now. Now the problem is we don't have any internet access on this version because we've made this minimal, which means there isn't no safe mode uh, with networking available. So I'll show you how to add those in if you want to add them in, you can choose which ones to add in, or you can choose to add all of them in. It's entirely up to you, but I'll add them all into the video description for you. So you can just copy and paste them in there. So you ain't got to type them out, but let's go back into command prompt and uh, I'll show you how to add the other ones in as well. So we're going to go back down to the search and type CMD and run this as administrator. And all we need to do here, is type in our next command here. Now this one's gonna be safe mode with command prompt. I'm just gonna call it CMD, but you can put command prompt in there if you wish. Just type out that command. So I'm gonna start off doing BCD edit, then space, forward slash copy, then space. Then we're gonna type in here, bracket, and then current or braces, whatever you wanna call them, and then close bracket, and then forward slash D, and then quotation, and then windows, 10 
your windows it's entirely up to you and then you can put in whatever you want to call it so i'm going to put in here windows 10 safe mode then i'm going to type in here bracket and this is going to be where i'm going to put uh, the cmd in here just to let me know that that is command prompt to get into command prompt if i want to use that so you can put in here what you like you can put windows 10 command prompt but you won't know it's safe mode so wherever you find uh, useful to be familiar to so just type in whatever you like there so I'm going to add one more here so I'm going to type BCD edit here and just show you what's listed in here so if we look here now you can see they've been added into the bootloader and uh, we can see that Windows 10 safe mode CMD has been added in now we haven't finished off uh, making this active yet we'll do that in a second so let's go back to the command prompt here type BCD edit and then space forward slash copy then space and then we're going to do that bracket or braces and then we'll put current in here again and then once we've done that we can close that bracket off then go space forward slash D and then space then we want to put in the quotation with the name we want to call it in this case we're going to be do Windows 10 and we're going to call this one safe mode and then networking so I know this is the option for networking you could put network on there to shorten it up if you wish and then push enter and that should enter the safe mode with networking once we put the options in so now we've got those done what we can do is go back to the MS config so let me close that off and type in MS config and just apply those in here I'm doing it this way because it's going to be easier to, for people to follow along. So we've got the minimal safe mode here, which we've already set up. And now we're going to be doing safe mode with command prompt. So all I need to do is go safe boot, highlight it, and then click on safe boot. And then we want to do alternate shell. And then you can put make all boot settings permanent. And then we can do the safe mode with networking, put safe boot, then network, then make all boot settings permanent, apply that as well and click OK. Once we do that, it'll ask us to restart the system. And of course, once we do that, you'll see all the options available for you for your options for safe mode. And it saves you having to jump through a bunch of different hoops to get to this location. But there they are right there makes it nice and easy if you just want to get back into safe mode quickly and do some work and then come back out and reboot the system. Now you might get a slight delay on the boot up sequence uh, when you're booting the PC up because of that splash screen but it's really no big deal you can uh, shorten down the time that is on the screen for if you wish but it's very useful for people that want to be able to get into safe mode without doing a bunch of different stuff to try and get to safe mode on the boot up screen they'll have the option to get to safe mode so they don't have to tap keys or you know trying to do certain stuff at the desktop maybe they've got malware on the system or something like that and they want to get into safe mode with no internet connection so they can remove any sort of malicious uh, content from there or even move any sort of programs that are installed like uh, like bloatware or adware or any sort of malicious uh, program that's been installed onto the system it makes it a lot more easier to remove them inside a uh, safe mode now especially if you're jumping into safe mode with um, no internet connection it makes it easier to remove any sort of malicious malware or anything like that because it won't be able to connect to the outside world and of course it makes it easier to remove and any other programs like graphics drivers or antivirus programs that you want to remove you can remove from that place and it makes it a lot easier to just quickly uh, click on a button and jump straight back into uh, safe mode now also it's great for beginners because obviously you're trying to explain uh, a process to get into safe mode to someone over the phone it can be a little bit more harder whereas all they could have to do here is basically boot up and it will be on their splash screen and they can select it and they're in safe mode and they can continue to work away whether it be some sort of issue that they need to resolve in safe mode safe mode is a great place 
uh, for fixing and troubleshooting problems because obviously nothing is running in the background and it makes it much more easier to resolve those problems from that location anyway that's going to be about it for this video hope you found this one useful my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video tomorrow have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.